Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, what is probably my uh, favourite level in the game. Um, a level where we start off by completely unnecessarily talking to some lovely homeless people down there. Is this your pitch? All Paris is my pitch. Got any spare change? For a coffee? Maybe. I need to find a man. Then look no further, my petite. This is a particular man. Bouchard. Louis Bouchard. Know him? <clears throat> No, never heard of him. Even for spare change. Go away, I never heard of him. So where could I ask? I could use a coffee. How about you? Try the Café Metro in the Place d'Arcade. The owner might be able to help you. Knows all kinds of stuff. Sounds like my kind of café. What about a spare change, mademoiselle? I didn't say I had any. Welcome to Paris. Without trying to stereotype negatively towards homeless people, but doesn't coffee money normally gets spent on like white cider and like cannabis and stuff but they didn't get anything from us anyway so and yeah talking to them is completely unnecessary you um don't need to talk to them but um obviously speaking to homeless people is a once in a lifetime opportunity and so obviously i just had to jump to the occasion because you know <laughs> Because, you know, it doesn't matter what Lara Croft's done, it doesn't matter, you know, Tomb Raider 1 with everything like the Skion and Natler and the Mutants and Tomb Raider 2 taking down a dragon and Tomb Raider 3 with the artifacts and everything, you know, nothing, nothing competes with uh, talking to a homeless person. That you know, is got to be Lara's proudest moment. Now, can we successfully jump? Yes, we can. Yeah, you, you do um, get to speak to some lovely people in this level, and um, I gotta say, um, Lara Croft has got to have nerves of steel being able to go around in this sort of neighbourhood just talking to the people the way she does, because if this was me, I would be absolutely terrified. <laughs> There again though, Lara Croft is a strong, independent, upper-class woman, and to be honest, that's probably one of the things that I admire about her. Obviously, I love the Tomb Raider games, but um, obviously I do like Lara Croft, I can't really deny that. <laughs> now, there's nothing down here, is there? Nope. Although I believe there's some money down here. I do, I am curious as to what sort of people just leave money lying around. I mean, that's a wad of notes. There's loads of it like it. It's like, who just leaves that sort of money lying around? And here we have Mr. Street Thug, I guess we can call him, who actually, his eyes are actually glued to us because if we walk, you can see his head moving and his eyes looking at us. You can see he's looking at us, we, and his, basically everywhere we go, is where his eyes look, because you can see... Yeah. Well, let's talk to him and see what he's up to. You looking for anything special, little lady? So what are you? A city guide? That's right. I'm a city guide, all tastes and interests catered for. Good. I need directions. I'm trying to find a man called Bouchard. Do you know him? That's not the healthy kind of question to be asking. Don't tell me Paris is dangerous. Oh, we got all kinds of rough stuff here in Paris, including our own serial killer. Uh, you heard of the Monstrum, huh? Uh, you heard of him. What do you really know about the Monstrum? Not much. Uh, the killings are very messy, uh, you know, uh, grisly, uh, no one's safe. Even Bouchard? Lady, no one, no exceptions. Have you heard uh, what the Monstrum does to the victims? So how do I contact Bouchard? He won't have time for casual callers. Been having staff problems at his club, I hear. Bouchard runs a club? Yeah, Le Serpent Rouge, flashy joint. Why should losing staff be such a big deal? Because these staff are dying on the job, messily. No one knows why, or how. You don't think Bouchard's up to handling it? Keep your voice down. Bouchard can handle all he needs to. But this is something different, something creepy. These people didn't die pretty. It's got him really shaken. Is it the Monstrum? Who knows for sure? I just tried to keep my nose clean, you should too. So you've no idea where Bouchard is? No. Well, I'm sure someone does. I'll ask around. Yeah, do that. Uh, why don't you try uh, Café Metro? 
What's a Cafe Metro? Nothing, man. Only the biggest loser in Paris. It's a joke. Forget it. Let me show you some of our local specialties. No thanks. Having to keep low, eh? <laughs> That's hard. Especially with the cops being so trigger happy. Should I give Bouchard your regards when I find him? No, don't do that. But if you are at a loose end, look me up. I'm sure we could find something diverting for you. You know, uh, something special. See you around. Funny looking city guide, but he's helpful nonetheless. Even though talking to him is also optional. Um, the mandatory person to speak to is this lovely woman here. So we go from a homeless person to a uh, thug to the dizzy heights of a prostitute who also seems to have her eyes glued to us. The way that. Um... Not a lot of passing trade at this hour. It's early yet. Move along, ma chère. You make the place look crowded. Have you worked in this neighborhood for long? What can I do for you, chérie? I'm looking for someone you might know. Name of Bouchard. You won't find him here, ma chère. He did run the club across the road. Le Serpent Rouge, but had to move premises. There was a lot of trouble, I heard. Things needed to lie quiet for a while. And no one knows where he is. What do you need with a dangerous individual like Bouchard? I'm trying to track down a friend's movements. Lost, is he? Dead. But he made contact with Bouchard before he checked him out. Tell you what, there's two guys who used to work at Le Serpent Rouge. So Bouchard didn't lose everybody? No. Nope. These two left before the troubles closed the place down. One's a miserable old devil called Bernard who was the janitor there. He hangs about in the park sometimes. And the other one? The other one, Pierre, worked as a barman. Makes bad deals that backfire on him. He runs the cafe at the Place d'Arcade now. Café Metro. You never know. Might be worth a shot. Better than anything I have so far. Thanks. I didn't catch your name. Janice. Everyone knows me around here. Look, be careful, chérie. Bouchard's a mean operator, and he's been targeted hard recently. Does anyone know who's causing Bouchard all this grief? Or why? No. Or they're not saying. The Monstrum has got everyone too scared to talk. I'd have thought Bouchard would be geared up for trouble. He can handle it all right. No one better. But the way his people has been dying. Mm, so ugly. And that poor woman. What woman? Someone called Carvier. She worked at the Louvre, it says on the radio. I don't want to talk about it. Carvier? No, you watch out, my chère. There is a lot of sickos loose on the streets. Yeah. That's okay. Some of us like it that way. Yeah, what a, what a helpful person. Um, yeah, talking to her is mandatory, and yeah, it seems that our saviour is a prostitute, because... Well, without her, I don't think we'd be able to do this level, because after talking to her, you then have the option of either talking to Pierre or Bernard, because obviously she mentioned them, and Pierre and Bernard both give you access to the Servant Rouge, and um, basically you have the choice of which one to go to. Um, basically, you could go to the Café Metro and speak to Pierre, who gives you the keys to the Servant Rouge, which takes you into one point. Uh, you could go to the park and speak to Bernard, who gives you the keys, but um, at the expense of 160 euros. Um, and, and then obviously, yeah, then you get the keys to the Servant Rouge. So they both give you keys to the Servant Rouge, but they uh, initially take you into like a slightly different part of it. But then after that, it then takes you to the main part you then come out at the same bit regardless of which person you go to and then obviously you have to retrieve that box thing because they both claim ownership of it and then obviously that's why you go to the servant rouge to get the box you then give it to them and then you they then give you access to basically bouchard because um uh basically um pierre sends you around the doorman and Bernard sends you through the doorman, um, either way taking you to the graveyard and then Bouchard's hideout. Um, and well, it's optional really which person you choose out of Pierre and Bernard, but I choose Bernard. Um, I prefer him because I just I just don't like Pierre, I just think he's a dick. Um, so I prefer Bernard. 
uh, I also prefer the like the pathway that um, he gives us, like the, the way we go in, um, and I also prefer the items that are there as well. Um, health pills, I think that obviously recover 40% of your health. Not only that, but also there's an item that pawns for 320 euros, which more than makes up for the 160 that he charges you. And here is the lovely man. Excuse me. You're not from around here. No. Then leave me alone. I'm busy. Your name's Bernard. Janice said I might find you here. She shouldn't be giving my name out like that. What do you want? I'm busy. Hey, take it easy. Janice. Janice? What did she speak to you for? Why did she tell you about me? I'm trying to find someone. God help you. Never heard of them. Whoever it is. That's odd. Janice said you worked for him. Do you mean Bouchard? He may know what happened to a friend of mine. Forget it. Bouchard doesn't like time wasters. Neither do I. So where is he? Undercover. But 160 euro might jog my memory. Here. Now how do I find Bouchard? It's not going to be easy, you know? Let me be the judge of that. Bouchard has had big trouble lately. And he owes me big time. Perhaps I can help you. What does Bouchard owe you? A box. My box. And I want it back. It was hidden at his old club, the Serpent Rouge. But things got nasty. I had to leave it behind. What if I were to retrieve it for you from this club? I know a password that gets you past Bouchard's door guard at his new hideout. Okay. So do we have a deal? Your box for the password? Deal. This will get you into the garage next to the Serpent Rouge. From there, a passage lets you into the main building. What am I looking for? A small box, hidden in a broken lighting rig. Good. Now we're beginning to feel like old buddies, aren't we? Where will you be in an hour? In an hour? Here. But after that, who knows? Make sure you are. I don't like wasting my time, remember? Bernard claimed to be busy, and yet he's stood on the spot doing absolutely nothing. It really doesn't strike me as the actions of somebody who's busy, so... This definition of busy must be very different to mine. And we're going to take a small stop into uh, this, well, church gym sort of thing. It is a church, but it's kind of been turned into a gym. Uh, no surprises there, because without trying to stereotype negatively, um, the neighbourhood and the people within this area don't really strike me as being hugely religious. Without trying to generalize or anything. <laughs> um, obviously there's um, items in My here that, that I stronger. want and there's also the wager um, where it's best to save beforehand because um, you've got only a 50% chance of being right because there's two boxes you bet on one of them but it's completely random who wins. So have to be careful with that. But, yeah, but beforehand, I'm coming up here just for a bit of looting. Yeah, Pierre and um, Bernard both claim ownership of the um, box because had you gone to Pierre, he would have said virtually the same. But they can't both own it 100%, can they? So, surely one of them is either lying or somewhat lying. Because, like I said, you can't, they can't both own it, can they? Not 100% anyway. But it doesn't matter because it's ending up in Bernard's hands. Or, well, it will be anyway. Of course, alternatively, it is actually possible to, when you get the box, to actually then go to... Bouchard's doorman and actually give the box to him and he gives you access to the hideout but he also charges 800 euros so uh there's three people who could end up with the box potentially but um obviously the um going through doing it where you give it to the doorman would cost you 800 euros, Bernard cost you 160, Pierre costs you nothing. And that's what I was saying in the previous level, where um, 
there are bits where you can use money, but it's not mandatory because had you gone to Pierre, you wouldn't have been charged anything. But obviously going to Bernard, 160, and if we were to go to the Dorman, then 800, but we're not going to be doing that. Obviously, Bernard gave us the necessary keys, which will take us to the Servant Rouge in a bit. Um, I just want what's in here. Yeah, um, this is a pretty exciting storyline, isn't it, when you think about it? Because you've got this serial killer called the Monstrum that's killing people and in quite a nasty way and okay where's the item I'm looking for oh so okay wrong side wrong side <laughs> I was wondering where it was I'm on the wrong side but yeah you got the serial killer called the monstrum where it where people are being killed and from the sounds of things quite nastily and obviously you've got Verna who's been murdered you've got Lara who's on the run for it and yeah we're in this really rough neighbourhood where there's a serial killer and everything, and it's all pretty tense. And, um, and yeah, from speaking to uh, Janice, it sounds like um, it's uh, it sounds like Carvier has been one of the victims because from the way that went, it pretty much sounds like that she's been killed. I'm not quite sure that she deserved to die, but. She isn't really important anymore. You know, I'm saving because now I'm going to be dropping down and talking to this guy. Hey lady, keep away from the ring. Nice watch. What? Am I talking too fast for you? Okay sister, you're leaving now. What about a wager? Yeah? On what? Those boys in the ring. What are their names? Look lady. Come on, what are their names? Okay, guy with the tattoo Zack. The one with the headgear is Carl. That's more like it. I bet all the cash in my pocket against your fancy gold watch that I can pick the best fighter. Do you have 200 jewels, smart mouth? Yes. Okay, you're on. Hey, you two. Lady here wants to bet on you decking each other. Match up. And just be glad I don't make you throw in your fancy gold chain, too. Don't push your luck, lady. So, who do you want to lose your money on? Well... The first time I did this, I bet on Carl, and he ended up losing, and since then I've kind of gone for Zack every time. Zack looks like a good mover. I didn't save before my first time either, so it did go, so I did end up losing 200 euros. This bit's also completely um, optional, by the way. And that's good, isn't it? Here, take it. Now get out. Thing is, though, I mean, if you were to lose, then you would have to give 200 euros, and the watch that you win only pawns for 160. So you're basically. It's like you're basically betting 200, and he's betting 160. It doesn't quite seem. Doesn't quite seem worth it, does it? Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's a doorman over there who I don't really want to be speaking to at the moment. Yeah, the, um, the, uh, drain, the, the, the drains, um, you know, where I... Uh, went into that um, that was called Bouchard's hideout. Um, obviously, uh, where I went to, there's like four paths down there. Two of them just lead to exits. One of them leads to items and a shortcut to the park. And obviously, where I needed to go to um, Bernard, I, I decided to go that way because that way I'm sort of killing two birds with one stone by getting the items and then going to the park and then being right in front of Bernard. Uh, the other way... Um, 
does have items, but um, it requires a strength upgrade, and so we can't do it just yet. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is going to the Servant Rouge. believe this is the door. And it is. And, and there, um, this is a different level and so this will have a this will have a different uh, video. So as I'm going to be saving as soon as I go in. I'm now in. So I'm going to be saving. And this will be the end of this video, so thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed.